Hey you guys, so let's do a chit chat. I didn't post this week, um, so yeah, let's do a chit chat. Um, so I went into the city, I worked with a client, I also had a team member working with another client, um, in lower Manhattan, and, um, I am exhausted. So the appointment went well, if you can see, my... Ciate London glitter flip lip stick lip color um actually held up really well but I've been drinking cold pressed juice and I think it washed it away but you can still see the glitter um yeah I just haven't reapplied anything else because I'm probably it's like all glistening up here I'm probably gonna have some more juice I am like so tired um that was a five-hour session. Um, so we got a lot done. That client had so many shoes, so many jeans, like a bunch of jeans. I just like found a box of jeans randomly. Um, and so she's coming from Houston and her apartment doesn't have all the storage space she necessarily needs. Um, so she's going to have to get a shoe rack. And she's going to need a solution for storing her sweaters um, because her she's got a nice dresser. This is like probably like the most mundane subject ever um, to some of you. But let me tell you about my day. <laughs> um, she's got a nice size dresser. I think it was from like one king's like No, it was from room and board. Um, but she just has so much stuff. And coming from Texas, you can have more stuff than a New York City apartment will accommodate. And so she's in Chelsea, which is um, tw or like the, the 20s, 20th Street on the west side. And um, her apartment probably costs a pretty penny, but you don't get much space in New York City. Or you know what? Maybe she got a deal on it or something because a bunch of people are fleeing New York City with COVID. Um, I am broken out here. I think it's hormonal, um, because as you, if you follow my videos, you know, I'm taking the supplement for hormonal balance, myo, it's right over here, myo inositol, myo de Cairo inositol, um, and it's still working pretty well. I've been pretty regular. I think I've been taking it for like two or three months. Um, no issues. It's uh, doing its job, I think, and, um, in regulating things. I haven't done any Yoni Pearls in, like, a month or two. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing the Steens, um, because they're productive. People say that they, they actually work, um, with issues and, or, or even, like, non-issues. They work and, you know, refresh things and whatnot, um, but they're not, they're, they work, but they're not as strong as like the concentrated pearls. I don't know if it's not as strong, but it's not something you have to do for three days. Um, which honestly, it's no big deal. You don't even really know, or I don't even really notice it. Um, until I like have to maneuver or like put another pearl in or like, yeah. Um, anyway, I still got to do the video on what to do if you're, if you get a pearl stuck, um, there's a great little discussion going on in the comments on the video where I actually got a pearl stuck and um, told the story. <laughs> that happens to a lot of people. There are tons of comments on that video and like new ones like every couple weeks. And, and even like those comments are filtered. So I think I miss a lot of them too. I try to go back. Um, but so if you're into that sort of thing, I actually, someone in those comments actually spoke to someone like a naturopath after they got a pearl stuck and that person told them to do a steam and sure enough that actually worked. The pearl came right out, she says. So it's good in a way that I didn't do that video on what to do because now I can add that bit of info for girls who are freaking out because they have a pearl stuck. It happens a lot. <laughs> um, so other than that, I didn't have tennis this week. Um, eh, kind of funny story. So, that man, that's like a whole thing that 
Now, I don't know if I want to get into the dynamic between my two tennis coaches, but one of them, the indoor coach, um, we're supposed to move to midday lessons, um, and he was supposed to call me like Monday or text me Monday, um, suggesting some times. And um, he didn't. I thought nothing of it because I'm like, oh, okay, great. Money that gets to stay in my pocket. Um, plus, I think it rained or something. I didn't feel like going. Um, so he ended up texting me last night. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. My uncle died and we just buried him. Are you available tomorrow? And I'm like, no, um, we can just pick up next, you know, on the regular day that we have indoor um, I actually did like another outdoor, I feel like I'd, I would have to backtrack and tell some more stories about these people, but here's where it gets weird. Like I, I have a thing about coaches. I do not like coaches because to me, I don't know, like, there's a personality clash. I, I never knew that there was a coach type of personality until I played basketball in eighth grade for fun. Um, and then like, I had a lot of other weird run-ins with basketball coaches when I wasn't even playing basketball. And then my soccer coach, yeah, senior year, my soccer coach benched me, even though I was a starter, he benched me over some pettiness. I said something he didn't like. And, but I'm, I was, I was like 17, 18. I'm like, the heck you're creepy you're a grown man why do you give a rat's bottom like what i like, ugh. anyway um you know like what i say to you like why is your ego that fragile um also like i grew up i had a lot of male cousins and i have two older brothers so like i don't i'm accustomed to them <laughs> um Although my oldest brother is kind of, he's, well, yeah, let me not get into that. But yeah, like I'm accustomed to guys kind of like joking with each other and not being overly sensitive, but whatever. Like he was out of line for like a couple reasons. Um, just like, I don't know. Like, I didn't like how he, he acted kind of weird. I'll put it that way. Like there, I wasn't like on any like teacher student weirdness but like he just like said and said some things and behaved in a way that uh, yeah mm. and that's why I yeah said what I said um clearly he took it to heart which you shouldn't be teaching high school I mean, yeah anyway <laughs> um anyway so yeah I have a history of just like I don't really like coaches <laughs> socially um, that's a harsh, a hard way of saying, I don't know, like, the, personality wise, I don't know if people who coach thing, men who coach things are like my, I don't know, like, we, we don't get along. We get along, but I'm not trying to, like, have any social interaction with those people, because, like, it, yeah, they're just, like, weird control freaks. So, anyway, um... Yeah, so this coach, actually, the the indoor tennis coach is very nice, but I feel like he's a little bit too nice, and the outdoor, t outdoor coach is way inappropriate, and I'm just, like, literally waiting for the right moment to fire him, um, but he's black and Jamaican, and, you know, I'm, like, supporting black business, and it, the less, it, it, the, the sessions with him actually do help, but, um, why does it look like I ironed my, I ironed, lined my, eyes and gold I didn't it's supposed to be blue that's interesting um or maybe this is like residue maybe the um the blue shadow I used had like some a gold undertone to it or something um anyway so um yeah so the daytime or the daytime the midweek indoor coach texted me saying his uncle passed I was like, oh, my condolences, whatever, whatever. And then, um, I thought the, con oh, and he's like, oh, okay. You know, I told him, oh, you know, we'll pick up Tuesday, um, blah, 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 whatever. And he's like, okay, have a great weekend. And I'm like, thanks, you too. Thought that was the end of the conversation. Five, ten minutes later, my phone rings and it's him and it's nighttime. 
I don't talk to men, especially coach men, at night unless, like, there's some sort of interest there. Or if you're, like, calling me urgently to let me know that you can't meet up for the whatever, um, non, you know, for, like, whatever professional or platonic thing we're doing the next day, the last minute, whatever, you're, like, telling me that your car has to be, has to get new brakes. I don't know. Like, you're telling me that the plan is changing at the last minute. Um, not, I don't know. Like, I just, I did not answer that call. He did not leave a message, but I'm like, we were literally just texting. What do you need to tell me that you can't text me? Um, like, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so that was that. I thought it was a little bit weird. Um, but it's probably fine. So Saturday I have the other coach, which like, I'm either going to fire him or like beat him, like beat him with a, with over the head in the face with my tennis racket. Um, and then I'll have to get a new one, but yeah, or maybe I can do it carefully, like beat him with the frame that I shouldn't be thinking about this. Um, he makes little jokes that are just, mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, not my cup of tea. First of all, like, I'm, if I were interested in a dude, it probably, well, I mean, you know, like, it, if I'm going, how do I phrase this? First of all, I'm not going to be interested in romantically or any of that stuff in a dude that I'm literally paying. I, I pay you to train me in tennis. I pay you to give me tennis lessons. I pay you to go over tennis drills with me. Um, if I'm paying you, that kind of erases like the whole, I mean, I'm not attracted to dudes I pay money to. I like dudes who give me nice things and, you know, if a guy wants to give me some money just because he's that dude, then that's fine. But no, like I, mm -mm, the dude that I pay, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. um, and judge me if you want to, but like, it's unnatural to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that whole dynamic. So maybe I'll tell some more stories about them and, and that, <laughs> um, on a future date, but, um, in the future, I mean, so yeah, I got outdoor tennis on, or tomorrow morning. I'm very tired. I probably should go to bed actually, cause it's at 9am, but it's like a mile away from here. So that's fine. Um, what else? I have just been working on things. Business has been busy, very busy. So I was featured in an article, the New York, not the New York post. I don't like the New York post, New York magazine. Um, they have a section called the strategist that's all about organizing and productivity. They actually did a story. They interviewed me. So they called me, interviewed me. Um, the interview was kind of peculiar. Like it was hard to keep a straight face cause they were asking me about like a very specific thing <laughs> related to organizing. And it almost sounded like fetishy cause like the lady kept asking for pictures of these organizing tools <laughs> And she, like, wanted, like, really wanted to know in-depth stuff about this stuff. Like, no, on a level that no one ever asked me, like, about organizing stuff. But it was cool. She was super nice. Um, and I am featured throughout the, I'm not nude, but I want to stay covered. Um, I'm featured throughout the article, um, repeatedly referenced um, and quoted and all this stuff. No pictures, but quotes and recommendations. Also, uh, so I went to the gym. Um, my gym is in New Jersey and New Jersey gyms are open. Indoor dining is open in New Jersey. Outdoor dining has been open in New Jersey. So I went to my gym for the first time, um, yesterday, last night, and they locked me in. It's weird that they don't check Cause like now they close a little, they close an hour earlier. It's weird that they don't check to make sure that people aren't like still showering. Um, I mean, and honestly, like they locked the door before 
like I, I was walking out at the exact time that people have to be out of the gym. Um, and they turned the automatic doors off and locked them. So I had to like, uh, manually unlock the doors and then like struggle to push them open. Cause they're super heavy and they're electronic, but the electricity was off. Um, and so that was fine. I'm like, my hair was wet. Um, and I gained eight pounds or right now I'm up eight pounds. I don't know how much I gained for, since the beginning of lockdown, quarantine, shelter in place, but we're going to call it eight pounds because that's where I am now. Um, I feel like I haven't really gained. No, I did try on two dresses and they did not fit, but they were new dresses and I don't know if they would have fit before. I want to tell myself they would have fit before. They're going to fit now that I'm like back in the gym and doing my pole dancing, which I skipped last night because it was supposed to storm, but it didn't really storm. I could have gone, but you know, in moments, instances like that, I just think, you know what? I wasn't, it, I, I wasn't supposed to go to that class today. Um, it was better for me to stay home. So that's what I did. And I went to the gym and, um, I worked today, uh, went to Chelsea, um, I also went to Hoboken, which those people, I saw people in, uh, on, first of all, people walking around Manhattan, a few people without masks. And it's a little bit different, like in the suburbs, because, um, you know, like the sidewalks might not be crowded. You can socially distance, which people did more or less stay away from me, but, um, or, you know, socially distance, but it gets crowded, um, in the city and you know you should wear masks just because of the population density that's how the virus spreads so much and so quickly because people live literally on top of each other and like there's always somebody two inches away from you although it's not that bad right now now when i went to hoboken which is a city in new jersey right across the river from manhattan um people were like I mean, they were living their best lives. Now, everybody, everybody in New Jersey had a mask on. I mean, except the people that were sitting and eating. Um, but there are a lot of people sitting and eating and drinking. Because, like, now there's indoor dining with limited capacity. Now, um, like, there, Hoboken has a ton of outdoor bars. So people are just, like, at the tables, just living their best lives. Um, the streets were crowded. It, I mean, it was like a Friday night. Um, it's crazy. So I had my mask on, of course. I changed my clothes as soon as I got home. I, um, washed my hands as soon as I got home. One thing I didn't like, um, yeah, I feel like, well, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, so when I went to Hoboken, like the train that I, t I didn't take the subway. I don't do the subway. I will walk over taking the subway and I've been that way before COVID actually, except I would take the subway some, but it's always felt like a public health hazard to me. Like maybe like a year or so into being in New York, I was just like, this place is really dirty. And if a disease were to spread, this would be not good. Cause like people do all sorts of weird stuff and nothing is like, nothing looks clean. <laughs> um, I mean, I've seen some people do some really gross stuff. Like even today, I so I was on the New Jersey train and somebody had stuck their gum on the seat. I'm like, there's a whole pandemic going around and you're sticking your gum on the seat. And then someone sat next to the seat with the gum on it. I'm like, oh gosh. Um, but the train was not crowded at all. We everybody sat six feet apart. We were just able to. Um, and I think people naturally would have sat that way anyway, because like, you know, people don't usually sit up, sit right next to each other unless they're, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I didn't like the lack of trash cans. Um, so I filled my Metro card with a glove. Oh man, my muscle is tightening up in my leg. Um, I filled my Metro card with, I wore gloves to use, oh, you got to use a machine to fill your Metro card. Hoo hoo, my leg is spasming. Um, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so they have the machines where you fill your Metro card. I wore gloves to use the machine and there was nowhere to dispose of my gloves. So I had to keep my gloves with me. 
And I literally kept them in my hand, kept it in the hand that it had been on um, with the part that touched the Metro card machine, like balled up on the inside and, um, you know, like <sighs> didn't find a trash can till I was off the train because there were none in the station. Um, stuff like that, you know, like we're supposed to be being extra sanitary. Like I had my alcohol wipes with me. Of course, I had my hand sanitizer spray. I had my um, surface and air sanitizer spray for my client. I left a bottle with her. Um, so yeah, like I was like ready. I was on ready, but I was disappointed at the lack of trash cans because how are people supposed to be clean if they can't discard their trash? But there were no gloves or anything on the floor like people have been saying. Masks and gloves on the ground because people are filthy. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, I worked, mostly worked with my mask on. Although I don't think my client really minded. Um, there was no central AC, which is very common in New York. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge because the air conditioning unit was not in, I was mostly in her room unpacking like her, um, clothes and things and organizing them in the closet, in the dresser. Um, yeah, no AC in there. Um, but I, yeah. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Ugh, I'm so tired. I, um, toughed it out. I did it. I got through it. Five hours. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, I came home, I charged my customers, um, you know, they put a card on file with me, I charge it, um, had a very good day, today was a very good lucrative day, just like I, how I like them, although I prefer to send my team out to do the organizing at this point. But for some reason, I just told this client that I would do it myself. And so I came, I went to her place and did it. Um, she was cool. So yeah, um, that was about it for today. I feel like I've had stuff to catch you guys up on, but I can't really think of anything. Oh, I'm so tired. I need to drink more water. I can tell, like, when my eye creases like that, I can't, whatever. It means I don't have enough water in my skin. Um, you know what? I told you guys about the electro mix, I think. The magnesium, potassium, manganese, maybe. Um, and another, maybe selenium. I don't know. It's an, an electrolyte drink powder that you add to your water. I had started drinking three packs of that a day. And it improved my sleep tremendously. Like, I could not stay up past, like, 8, 9 if I drink it late in the afternoon. Um, well, I ran out, and sure enough, I've not been sleeping well or on that schedule where I'm, like, out at 8 and up at 3. Um, so there's definitely something to magnesium, you guys. If you struggle with sleep, take a powdered... Or there are multiple ways to take magnesium. I like the powdered supplements. There's even like topical like magnesium gels and lotions you can use. I don't know if, if they work as quickly as effectively or if you need a ton like to put a ton on your skin for it to work. But um man, this electro mix like it's like a sleeping pill but better. I don't wake up grog. It's like it's good quality sleep. And then you wake up fine, not groggy or anything. Um, so I ordered two boxes that should be here at six, between six and eight tomorrow with my Amazon Fresh. I'm enjoying Amazon Fresh because I actually save money. So, and the food lasts longer for some reason. I think I just get junk food or something, hence the eight pounds during, uh, lockdown. But, um, when I go in the grocery store, I feel like I just get junk food, maybe. <sighs> oh, excuse me stuff to last like a day um but yeah no this has actually been good um so I think I'm gonna continue with Amazon Fresh even though like I'm not a huge fan of corporate like from a corporate perspective Amazon um I do like the service I like Prime 
So what are you going to do? Um, other than that, I think that's it. We're almost at 30 minutes for this video. Um, I don't have any pole dancing outtakes because I didn't go to class and I did I didn't even, yeah, I don't like the teacher that, that teaches today. So, um, I just didn't go. Maybe I can, I, I don't think I'm going to make a class tomorrow either. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back. Um, I might do an extra class next week. So you'll have some extra footage probably. I got some pole grip. So actually it really worked out that I didn't go to class because I didn't have my pole grip yet. Um, so I should be able to stick to the pole better and do more tricks in the air. Um, cause I was sliding like crazy. So in the winter, I'm not, I'm too sticky to the pole and I don't, um, slide, like it's hard for me to slide down the pole in the winter. Um, cause my skin is drier, but in the summer I'm too slippery. And especially when I sweat, cause I produce so much oil, um, that it's hard like I can do maybe like one or two tricks and then I have to wipe down the pole again um just so my hands can stick and my legs oh goodness like yeah forget about it like if I'm trying to do something with my thighs or whatever um also I kind of like I haven't done a lot of tricks like that um you know like in the last video we were climbing I hadn't climbed like ever Basically, um, we kind of did like, um, you know, a little climb, um, in the class I was taking before, um, the quarantine. Um, but yeah, so I'm enjoying pole dancing class. I like the teacher that I go to right now, um, would prefer to be supporting a black owned place. Don't like all the teachers that work there. I don't know. Did I tell you guys about my Lyra class? I did Lyra, the aerial hoop. I took an intro class and the lady was just like, I didn't like that teacher. That's who taught pole today. Um, and then she, I think she gave me a hoop that was like too wide one. She's a short person. And so I think she did that whole, I don't know, short people syndrome thing. Gave me a hoop that's too wide. So like I couldn't reach the other side of it. Um, which meant that there were like certain tricks that I was learning that like, wouldn't work because I couldn't re reach the other side of the hoop. Also, I think she put the hoop too far off the ground, like too high up for me, seeing as how it was my first class. Um, so I had to like struggle and then like, not only, um, am I like trying to learn the moves, but also I'm like, um, thinking about how far down I would fall if I slip off, which my hands did slip off, but fortunately the crash pad, there were three crash pads stacked up under the hoop at that point. But like nobody else needed crash pads because everybody's hoop was lower. Um, or, you know, like stacked up extra, um, like that. And I'm like, why would she like, you're a bad intro teacher. So I'm not going to go back to her for that. Um, I'm looking for another place to take it technically found one, but they're not open. And I do believe they're black owned. Um, they haven't been open these past couple weeks, so we shall see. Um, that is it for now. I'm going to end this video. Um, yeah, I don't know. I been have I been working? I did. I have recorded some footage today. Maybe I'll put together a blog. I'll probably go out to dinner. Um, or no, I'm going to lunch tomorrow, I think. So I can add that to the blog. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to go watch some YouTube probably. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys take care, be well, stay clean, stay safe, stay organized. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk soon. Bye now.